What's up, YouTube? So, just finished our bicep and tricep workout. Um, I know in a bunch of videos we talked about pause sets, supersets, negatives, force reps, drop sets, static holds, and partials. And uh, it can be a really confusing thing if you uh, haven't been doing, if, if you haven't been lifting for a while. So, uh, we're about to show you and demonstrate and uh, hopefully help y'all understand what they are, uh, why they help, and uh, just the proper form and technique to do them. So stick with us, I'm gonna get into detail. It's not gonna be much of an edited video. Um, stay tuned, let's get it. Alrighty guys, so for our first topic, which is a superset, right now we're starting off with some uh, easy bar push downs with a closer grip. Um, a super, uh, is, uh, a super set is two exercises back to back with one another. Um, he's going to be doing a different exercise with the super set, which is going to be a bicep exercise after his tricep exercise. So as you can see, he just got done. He's going to a super set now. He doesn't really take much of a break or rest very much. Um, he's not taking much of a break or resting very much. He's going straight to his super set because it's usually a different body part which you want to super set. So, Say I wanted to do a back and biceps, that's fine to do it because it's two different um, body uh, body parts and it's uh, you're not you're not resting or you don't have to you're not fatiguing one of the same muscles. So saying you're going to do a one back exercise supersetting with a, another back exercise, your back's going to be more fatigued, so you're not going to be hitting as many reps. So um, it's good to do two different exercises for a superset, as like just like as in tricep and bicep, where you're not uh, fatiguing just one muscle. Um, uh, like you would for a uh, supersetting with two different um, muscle groups. So, hope that makes sense. He demonstrated what a superset was. Um, he went for about 10 to 12, 15 reps for both. 15 reps for both of his uh, superset exercises. So, as you can see, he didn't he didn't waste uh, waste too much time. Went straight to a superset and got it done. Got your 15 reps in the right. And uh, that was a superset. So, hopefully that helps with supersets. On to the next. All right, guys. So here we're gonna be demonstrating what a drop set is. So Art's going for 12 to 15 reps here with uh, 35 pounds. Uh, we're going some overhead rope uh, extensions for the triceps. He's gonna hit his 12 to 15 reps. Uh, all of them clean reps, no cheating. Um, get them clean. And then, as you can see, he's gonna drop the weight. Uh, what I what I like to do usually is. Um, uh, drop the weight about half of, half of what you are doing and then um, go ahead and get another uh, say 10 to 15 more reps um, uh, doing the same exercise. So you're staying here, only thing you're doing is changing the weight. I like to drop it at least half of it just so you can get some extra reps because dropping it down maybe one or two plates, you're not going to get much benefit out of there because you'll probably get maybe three or four reps. So drop it down just enough to get uh, say more than eight reps for a drop set. So hopefully that helps for drop sets. On to the next thing. Alrighty guys, so here we got Art performing some static holds with incline dumbbell curls. As you can see, he's holding uh, his arm parallel to the ground, and while this one's being held, the other arm is actually doing performing the rep. So um, this is good just because you're holding the traction um, for maybe up to 33 seconds, 30 to 4 seconds, um, as the other as the other arm gets to perform the uh, the curl. So you're really fatiguing it out. You're not going to get as many reps as you think you are going to get because you are holding that muscle and um, you're just holding, forcing blood into it until it actually gets to perform the rep. So your arms are not really getting much of a rest because you're always holding the contraction the whole time. Try it out. You get a good pump, don't you? You get a good pump and um, it's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful, baby. Hey guys, so now we're going to show you what a force rep is. What a force rep is, it's usually going to be using heavier weight than you're used to. You want to have a spotter so you, they can help you force extra reps in because you're going to be getting a, a lower volume here. I'm saying six to eight reps without what I think would be a good uh, force rep set, uh, rep range. And then what this is going to do is just going to shock the muscles. You're not going to be used to hitting this heavier weight for, uh, for 10 to 12 reps. You're going to be used to hitting it for maybe uh, six to eight reps. That's when, I, that's when I come in and force you to get those extra reps in, which is going to push more blood into the arms. Uh, you're going to get a really good pump. 
And uh, what you want to do is always, whenever he's ready for his four sets, uh, to, for me to help him get his four sets in, he's always going to let me know just because I don't want him dropping the weight on himself. Because uh, if you're doing this on another exercise, such as like a, a back exercise, like a lap pull down, I can force, help him get force uh, reps in, or like a bench press, or dumbbell bench press, where I can grab his wrist, help him uh, force extra reps in. So, you're going to demonstrate that right now. You're going to let me know when he's ready for some work. So his four reps, I'm going to have him get to the top. When he gets to the top, he's going to control the weight all the way down. You ready? He's going to control it all the way. He's going to control the negative all the way down. I'm going to help force it up. Control this down. Force it up. Control the weight down. Just like that. So I'd always say maybe no more than six force reps just because uh, it, can, it can result in injuries. So try to stay below six reps on your force reps. So. All right, here we're going to be demonstrating a uh, negative, which is you're going to be working on the negative part of the uh, exercise rather than the positive, I guess. So instead of him coming at the top and flexing it, you're focusing more on the stretch down of the exercise. So as you can see he's hitting his negatives. I'd say about three seconds before you reach the bottom of the exercise just because you're going to be controlling it better. You're going to be great, um, putting a more uh, greater mind-muscle connection to uh, actually feeling your tricep do the work and controlling it all the way down. So three seconds on your way down. It should be like a higher volume exor uh, uh, exercise. So more reps here. I'd say about 12 reps. Um, you can also do you can also go ahead and get six normal reps on your own, and then, then you can incorporate those negatives and hit another six negatives, um, negative reps at the end of that, uh, at, at the end of those six normal reps. So, good, good job, baby. All right, guys, so next is partial reps. As you can see, he's getting uh, the full stretch and the full contraction at the top. He's bringing the weight all the way to the top, almost touching his uh, pinky to his shoulder. Full range of motion. So for partials, what we like to do is maybe get eight reps, and then for our partials, maybe get another six reps of uh, halfway. So just hit a six, six good reps, but hit your partials. Partials, you're only gonna bring the weight halfway up, get an extra, uh, extra reps in. You're not having to uh, get that full range of motion. You're just keeping that uh, tension on the arm the whole time, because once you usually get to the top, you're usually breaking that, uh, uh, that tension on your, on your bicep. So what you want to do is keep the tension on your on your bicep the whole time, um, hitting the partial reps. Good. All right, guys. So here we're going to do some part pause sets. What we're going to do is we're doing some rope push downs. He's going to hit about 12 reps, full range of motion, squeezing at the bottom, getting that good, uh, kissing that good pump. 12 reps. Once he hits this 12. He's gonna take the weight all the way, he's gonna let, rack the weight all the way up. Rack it all the way up. We're gonna, we're gonna rest for about six seconds. So six, five, four, three, two, one, go. He's gonna chase another six after his first 12 reps. For the first 12 reps, uh, I like to get right, just right before you hit failure. You don't want to hit failure completely because your uh, your pause set after you hit that pause and go back to your reps, you probably you'll most likely just get three to four. And what we want to chase down after the pause set is about six to eight reps after the pause set. So that's it. Thank you, Art. Man, I look good. You see that? Alrighty, guys. So. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Hope y'all learned something today because uh, I'm not the best at explaining things. I stutter a lot. I say um a lot, but it's been a while from, from me like doing these kind of like tutorial videos and, and tips, I guess. So hope y'all enjoyed it though. Hope y'all understood it. If y'all don't, please comment below. I will make a video. If, if y'all didn't understand what a pause set is, I will make a video just about a pause set. If it takes five minutes to explain what it is, I will do it. Just comment down below if y'all need help because I want y'all to experience these kind of different things 
uh, I want you to incorporate these into your workouts because it will make your workouts 100% better. I promise it will. Adding a pause set, adding, uh, adding a, a, a negative, adding partial reps. It's, it's, I think it's really vital to hit, to do those, um, put those into your workouts just because it's shocking your muscles. Your muscles aren't used to resting for only six seconds and then hitting some more reps after you have already failed. Um, your muscles aren't used to that. You hit your 12 reps and then you rest for about a minute and then you recover and you go back into your workout. So you are not used to hitting um, another six reps six seconds later after you have failed with 12 reps. So you aren't used to that. I promise you aren't used to that. And it's what's going to shock your muscles. It's going to force growth. You're going to be putting uh, nutrients and uh, blood into the muscles. You're going to be feeding it. That's when you feed your muscles, you're growing. When you're eating, you're growing. So that's why it's important to get your also get your food in so your muscles have uh, uh, nutrients to feed itself to for to for uh, for it to have uh, for it to force growth. Um, see, I told you I stutter, and it's uh, it's alright. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it. So um, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all learned something because I love doing this. I love helping you. Um, if anyone from the gym had asked me, hey man, what's a force rep or what's a uh, pause set? I would love to explain explain it to them because I want them to feel that pain. I want them to go through the same the same pain I go through after I finish a drop set. So um, I think it's important. Uh, I hope you try it out. Please try it out. Please let me know how it goes. If you've never done one of these before, even if you have done one of the, did one of these before, if you just heard of what they were, you just never tried it because you didn't know what it, what it is. Let me know how it felt. Um, but I do. Thank you, guys. I just wish, I just really hope y'all really try this because I think it is, uh, um, it hurts. It really does hurt doing these things and your body is not used to it. Your body is not used to um, doing these different types of, uh, incorporating these different types of uh, little exercises into a workout. So I can't stress it enough. You will grow. You will feel, uh, you, your muscles will feel so much different and it's going to be something that you are not used to, which is, it, it is good to do things that you are not used to just because um, it's, it's something that's different for you. It's, it's, you're not used to it. You're going to shock it. You're going to, you'll feel it the next morning. You, it's just, it's great. It's a great feeling if you love to go through pain. If you don't like going through pain, do not do any of this because I promise it will hurt if you're doing it correctly and you're doing the right weight. So have that good mind muscle connection and you will love this stuff. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed for the fifth time flying this last three minutes. So um, that's, that's about it. About to get awkward because I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know how to sign off. So peace.